Hi ladies, it's Kathy, and today I have a very serious question for you. Are you wearing the wrong underwear? This video is about helping you choose the right undergarments for a big belly if you have an apple body shape. I've been promising you this video for a while and honestly I have been testing shapewear underwear out for the last four months and a lot of them have been huge disappointments. So today I'm going to share some underwear that I have been testing and really like and I'm going to, to share them with you. Has your underwear rolled down when you were sitting down? Has your muffin top peeked out of the top? of your undies? Have you had your legs get pinched by your panties? If so, you're probably wearing the wrong underwear. Today I'm going to solve this problem for you once and for all. We're going to talk about the different types of underwear and the best underwear for apple-shaped women with a belly. I'm going to model three that I recently found and I would, you know, give them my stamp of approval. I wanted to try them out for a while and to make sure that I was comfortable wearing them and comfortable in recommending them because that is important to me. Now I'm not going to be modeling them naked. I will put uh, some leggings or a dress or something over them whenever I'm modeling them because it's just too weird to get naked in your underwear. I have been testing these for a while and I really do find them comfortable. You know if you've watched me for a while, comfort is key with me. I cannot stand clothes that are tight or clingy. I will mention the underwear that I'm going to be showing you are all from Spanx because I've tried many different brands on Amazon. Some of them, I would just open the package and look at them and say, no, there is absolutely no way that is going, you know, to even fit, even though I followed the sizing chart. The only brand I've had success with is Spanx. Now I'm not talking about their shapewear, I'm talking about their everyday underwear that is smoothing and contouring. I have no reason to wear the body suits or the compression garments that they have because I lead a very casual, simple life. But I wanted to find some smoothing underwear and the underwear that I'm going to show you today, one pair in particular is kind of really strong in compression. The other two are so comfortable and you know, they don't roll down, I don't get a muffin top. They're just really comfortable. So underwear should be sold as high rise because just like our pants, shorts, or jeans, the best fit for apple shaped bodies with a belly is a high rise. But underwear is sold as bikini, brief, hipster, but that doesn't really help us whenever we're not sure like what should we be wearing. The most important thing to look for in underwear if you have a belly is the rise. And this is very important if you want to be comfortable because you want the high rise that is at least going to go up to your belly button that's going to hold your belly in. At least that's what works best for me. So for myself I have determined that I need a high rise so I look for a rise of nine inches. That is what fits me the best, what works the best, and what is most comfortable and what I can tolerate. I don't know how many times in the past I've bought like bikini or boy shorts, they just don't work because they cut like right in the middle of my roll, you know what I mean, underneath the belly button and then the underwear rolls down and it's just it's a miserable feeling uh, whenever you have your underwear doing that, but it also doesn't look nice underneath your clothes. So the underwear that I'm going to recommend to you today, they fit me perfect. They do not roll down on me. Like I can't guarantee if it's gonna act the same on everybody because I don't know what you look like. Using my body as an example, these are three that I give thumbs up to. So what do I look for when I'm shopping for underwear? First of all, I wanna know that the rise is nine inches or higher. I look for full coverage briefs because full coverage in the front and the back is very important. Another problem that I want to point out is full coverage briefs tend to be full coverage in the front and the back and cover the tops of the legs. If you're apple shaped, you might have some extra padding there and the underwear can dig into the side and that's very uncomfortable. So what I look for are high cut briefs, like high leg cut briefs. This is what I wear. So what type of underwear should an apple body shape wear? What is the most 
most comfortable underwear if you have a big belly. That a high leg cut brief with enough coverage in the front and the back, but the leg is cut high is the most comfortable because it also elongates the leg and the rise hits at or above the belly button. And that is the rise that I like so I don't get the muffin top. Classic brief shapes, boyfriend pants, and shaping panties are also comfortable for apple body shape because they have enough material to cover the belly, the rise is longer, and they should hit above the navel. But if your underwear rolls down, that's because it's too small. It's probably very uncomfortable. This has happened to me before with low rise panties or bikini pants. Briefs may not be the sexiest thing, but they are the most comfortable. And you know, today there's lots of choices. You can get sexy briefs that are high rise with a high cut leg. You don't have to stick to boring white and beige. And why is white even an option for underwear? I've never understood that. Anytime that I get a pair of white underwear in a package, it just goes in the donation pile. Like I don't like white underwear. I just, I don't get it. There's lots of choices today, lots of pretty colors, lace designs. I really think that it's important to feel good in all aspects. And whenever we're getting dressed, I think that your underwear, your bra should make you feel good because that is a foundation of your outfit. And if you're wearing like old stained tattered underwear, the elastic's gone, don't you think that's gonna kind of affect your mood for the day when you're getting dressed? I like to put something fun on, like who's gonna see if I'm wearing, you know, rocking, bright pink underwear under black pants. But of course, if you're wearing white, remember to wear nude colored underwear. But my point is you should feel good in everything you wear and that includes your underwear. So underwear is broken down into different cuts and here are a few. Briefs are full coverage and high-waisted. Bikini sits on the hip and it's low rise and that is something that just doesn't work for me. My fat roll causing the bikini to roll down. Hipster is low rise. That also does not work for me. And cheekies are low rise. The ones that I have found that work the best for me throughout the years, they all happen to be high rise. I know that may not be what you were hoping to hear, but like I said, they've come a long way. There's lots of really nice ones. Get some fun colors and designs and you know, some with lace and feel your best. Cause when you feel your best, you look your best and you're confident. And that is what matters when we get dressed. I like to be comfortable. And for my everyday underwear, I'm boring. I wear the jockey or just my size underwear. They're available in lots of pretty colors and patterns. I'll link a few. I buy them off of Amazon. Go by the sizing chart so you can figure out which one it is that you need. I wear them every day. You know, they'll last me a long time. The three underwear from Spanx that I have to show you, there is the everyday shaping pant brief. And all of these are in size 3X because I wanted to make sure that I got the right size and the 3X is the right size for me. Go by the, their sizing chart. In the past when I've tried Spanx, I'm talking more about, you know, their original shapewear that they came out with. I never liked it because it never fit my body properly. So I was a little hesitant to try their underwear, but oh my goodness, I love their underwear. And honestly, a couple of these pairs, I'm wearing them. I don't even know I'm wearing underwear. They're that comfortable. So the first one that I'm showing you is their everyday shaping panties brief in a 3X. It's very comfortable. You don't even feel like you're wearing it super, super comfortable. Doesn't cut into my belly, doesn't cut into my legs, doesn't roll down. I really like these. Okay, so ignore the dress. I just wanted to find something that I could use to model the underwear because I'm not showing my underwear on the internet. But before I get to the underwear, I just wanted to give you another look at this bra. Because this dress is plain, you know, it's it pretty body clinging. So that's why I chose it. So you can see any rolls or lumps or bumps. So this is still the same bra. You can see how it really, you know, lifts the girls up, creates the, the waist under here and the back. So comfortable. It's so nice not to have hooks in the back. Now there might be a little bit of bulging here. I don't know if you can see it here, but that's just because I have extra fat there, but I'm not concerned about it because I'm losing weight, gonna start lifting weight, so hopefully it disappears. But that's just an extra look at uh, the bra. This is the first pair of underwear. Oh, it goes to my belly button. My belly button's here. You can see that's where the, 
the underwear ends right there and I'll just try and pull this tighter like you know it, it just my belly is here and it does a good job like smoothing the butt so that's the first pair of underwear honestly I don't even feel them they're that comfortable very very comfortable next up we have the Spanx shaping satin brief also got in a 3x it is very comfortable it's as comfortable as the first one that i showed you i feel like this one just has hugs my body a little bit more not that i feel pressure just i can tell like if i'm thinking about it that i'm wearing underwear if that makes sense um like it's a gentle hug like somebody would have their arm around you that's kind of what it feels like doesn't roll down doesn't cut into my leg these are all things that I tested for because you know I wouldn't be recommending them if they did those things to me okay so this next pair you can see not as um, as compression like you can see a little bit of my fat roll here but that's okay like these are perfect for every day or if you just want to smooth things out hope it looks okay in the back end So, you know, it just smooths out any lumps or bumps. You can see, like, here's where the underwear hits me. So if that bothers you, maybe go with the first pair that I showed you. But, you know, if I was wearing these under a pair of pants, you're not going to see that. Very nice, very comfortable, easy to get on. Whereas the first pair, you have to, like, shimmy just a little bit to get on but both very comfortable. I really like them. This is the newest pair that I got. These are like getting a firm hug, yet they are comfortable, they're smoothing, they stay in place, they don't roll down. And when I say smoothing, I mean like it hides any dimples or cellulite that I might have like in my butt or on the, uh, the side of my hip where, you know, we sometimes have a little pocket of cushioning. So the final pair that I have, I don't need them to suck everything in really hard because I'm just wearing them around home or underneath, you know, my outfits. But there, you can see my belly. They even things out in the back end. Hopefully you don't see any bulges or anything. What is most important to me is that I don't feel like I'm wearing them. And that was my gripe when I uh, bought my first pair of Spanx like 20 years ago when it was just the the very first rendition, I guess the first product she came out with, where you know it was like a pair of pantyhose. These are more like everyday underwear that smooth things out, hide bulges. They do an okay job with uh, sucking things in, but if you're looking for like, you wanna look 10, 15 pounds slimmer, these aren't going to do that. You would have to go with like more the really Spanx compression type of pants and I have no interest in them because I will never wear them. I don't work in an office and I couldn't stand them before. I'm not suddenly going to like them now. But I do like their underwear and just wanted to show you the three looks in case you want to try them out. Because it's nice to have, you know, a good pair of underwear. Like if you're going to church or something, you want to wear a nice dress or a pair of pants and you don't want to see panty lines. I think these do a great job of hiding things. I feel comfortable like recommending all three of these. I tried more budget friendly options as well from Amazon, different brands, didn't like them. Like I said, there was no way they were ever gonna fit. I don't think I could have got my thigh through some of them. So I didn't even bother trying a couple of them. They were just like impossible to look at. And I knew just looking at them, I was gonna hate them. The Spanx, you know, they sometimes do come on sale. I got mine on sale. Sale. I'll link them all below the ones that I like come in lots of nice pretty colors all of them I wear in a 3x so I hope that this underwear video has helped you I will keep looking for underwear and if I find ones that I like I will always share them with you in like a, a monthly haul video but for now when you're looking for underwear when you have an apple shaped belly what I have found to work the best for me is a high rise with a high thigh cut on the uh, the side if you haven't seen my bra video from a year ago I'll link it here go check that out if you're looking for information on bras and in the meantime thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon bye